This man here is about to squeeze the snake's head, and something really strange is going to happen. Before I play it, I want to ensure you that the snake was fine, and that this was done for scientific documentation purposes. This biologist rubs his finger down and around the snake's head, with about the same pressure you use to type on your phone. Almost immediately, the snake's eyes turn blood red, and real blood starts dripping from its nose. This is a defense mechanism known as auto-hemorrhaging, which is thought to be used as a predator deterrent. What's happening here is the snake releases and funnels blood into its tear ducts, and since snakes have a scale over each eye, it fills with blood, and I think this looks like the Sharigan from Naruto. Anyway, since the blood is released by the tear duct, and fluid from the tear duct is drained through the nasal cavity, the blood quickly and safely drains from its nose. Only one other animal can do something remotely similar, the horny toad lizards of western North America, which can projectile shoot blood out of their eyes. In both cases, we're not 100% sure why this works as an anti-predator strategy. It's thought to may make the animal appear completely unappetizing, or perhaps trick them into thinking they have an infectious disease. But by far my favorite hypothesis is that the blood is full of nasty neurotoxins.